Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report was full of inaccuracies, like someone deliberately tampered with evidence. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said Evelyn was high as a kite, drugged out of her mind when she died. But we both know this isn't true. I barely remember what I said that night, but I know that ain't it. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out! So I hit her again, and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. 
Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Show me! Hello. Stop right I there! I knew someone was here. Don't you Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Access granted. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. I. I, I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me. You'd have to try pretty hard, mister.
妈的，他是一个真正的娘。as a species stepped up to make things our best part of the My visit to Crown was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. I'm circulating a petition to have two women on the second floor of the West Wing evicted. Will you sign? It's very obvious they're involved in prostitution. I know this is not exactly a five-star hotel, but if people want escorts, they can go to the Hong Hua. Okay, where are sign? was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pangea project.
be able to see the truth for ourselves. Hey, as soon as the you know where I can find some goods? If you Maybe. Like to hear what about Ken? Exclusive interview with Any Kendall, good stuff around here? You may want to check out the storage locker there. Someone near there may be able to help you find what you're looking for. You buy or sell? I do it all. Look at a computer and see for yourself. Come back any time! species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean But many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth? If you would like to hear more of my exclusive Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Damn, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Let me guess, you're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. There's a certain security guard likes to dabble with the ladies. <laughs> You'll find him at the Hong Hua Hotel top floor corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole, Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Now run along, Sarif man, and don't get too distracted watching the action.
visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Panchea project, the cooperative global I just don't understand how a city can grow to a point where there can be so many people and so few jobs. We've been abandoned, that's how. Who wants to open a business when you have to fight for territory with Tong or the Triads? Well, if something doesn't turn up for me soon, I just may end up knocking on Tong's door. Can't blame you. Just don't become a harvester and we can still be friends. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive... Oh, Kai! War Log on to www.pikesweb.com This is Eliza Kassad reporting to you live from Pikes. It doesn't happen often, folks. Ting Zhe Ping, I think you're a good person. 可是我受不了你把你的东西都扔在大厅呐！我也不晓得啊，可是我的交通房间那么小，放不下那些东西。拼，那些东西都可以扔了，你不用他们，他们就是垃圾。但有些是我妈妈给我的。去问问杰，看他还有没有多余的地方给我们放东西。我觉得杰不会情愿的吧。Our best chance of doing this is to modify a through a combination of iron and steel.人不应该这样活的，这些大麻可不是给动物准备的。他们说没有多余的房间，实质上只是针对我们。有问题吗？我好喜欢这个东西。So the guy in Capsule 143 left his pot door open. Away. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. And? And? He has so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an evil or two, but I held back. Oh, you should have. At least then we'd have some juicy reading material for today. You live in here? Not many foreigners. Mostly Thai young workers. Lower factory, of course.
Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperature through a combination of iron sea and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Dale, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. When will we be able to see the truth for ourselves? As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, Darrow, log on to When a party? I can go all night, tall boy. I know what you have in there. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you with Ferret in your shirt the other day. You know pets are not allowed in hotel. That's not true! I tell Mr. Chell if you not get rid of it. You're a very mean lady. Tell her to leave me alone. Are you security? Make this man get rid of disgusting rodent. of involvement in secret United Nations meetings about the augmentation debate. Here's what the man had to say. My visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention. I Forgive me, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation 
对不起，我希望我能帮助你们。对不起，你不能从这走，我很忙。帅哥。
I wouldn't go upstairs if I were you. Why not? Wait, don't tell me. Me and Edgar going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yep. Edgar in a bad mood. Shame, too, because he can be sweet when he wants to. I'm always amazed by what May gets away with. Well, she's earned the right to talk back from time to time. When you've been around as long as she has, you know, you know she practically ran this place before Chan showed up. I wish she still did. You and me both, girl. Don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. Hey, mister, you think you could go in there and pretend to be a customer? It might break up the fight. Ever since Ning went missing, May has been on the warpath. On second thought, you might be risking body and limb going in there. On second thought, you might be risking body and limb going in there. Well, I hope she still is. They started pushing for her to get augments. She say no, even when it gets violent. Now I fear they lose patience and will force the operation. Ning's not the first, and she won't be the last. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr... Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them under control by supplying neuropazine. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Anything else you can give me? Yes. The men holding Ning. They most likely work with local triad gang here, the harvesters. If you look for some of them around, Maybe you find Ning better. Got it. Shove off before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. What about? Ning. Open the phone book. Plenty of them in there. Your friends are holding her. I can make it worth your while if you tell me where. Worth my while? Yeah, maybe. Let's see some credits first, the tough guy, and then maybe I'll tell you where to find her. Here. Now where's Ning? Okay, but you never heard this from me. 
They're holding her on a small side street just off the open gutter in the Daigong district, but they'll probably have a couple of guys there watching her.
Leave me! Who, who are you? Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? May? Thank God. I know. No, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. If you hadn't come, though, how did you find me? I asked around. I can be persuasive. I... I have to get out of here. Are you sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me. Tell her. Thank you. For everything. I owe her. I owe you both my life. Did you find her? I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. Once Chan is gone, what will you do? Won't some other drug lord turned pimp take advantage of your vulnerability? I know someone who recently started his own security company. I will hire them to protect us. It should be more than enough, and I can trust them. Why does his death need to look like a suicide? I've made threats against Chan in the past. Because you helped Ning, if anything happens to Chan now, his harvester friends will think we are responsible. I do not want that to happen. Tell me about Diamond Chan. He's a monster. At first, he forced my girls to take drugs until they be addicted. It made them easy to control and dependent on him. But now, with cheap black market augmentations and customers with augmentation fantasies, it is even worse. The leashing you spoke of earlier. Yes. In order to squeeze more milk from his cows, he butchers them. The augments are just another form of control. The girls can always be tracked, and the needs for neuropathy means they will not run away. What kind of payment is involved? Double what I gave you for rescuing Ning. 
if you make certain we are rid of Chan for good. What is it exactly you want me to do? Lower hand side is a dangerous place. I know Diamond Chan stay at the apartment near a rooftop. Knock him out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Some way in his apartment will be enough. He may be dead though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. Anything else I should know? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. Even alone, Chan is dangerous. Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps? Which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here.
Ever since Ning went missing, May has been on the warpath. Has Chen been taken care of? I planted the drugs and left him unconscious in his apartment. Your friend should have no trouble with the arrest. I will contact him immediately. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. Wei, Jian, it's May. Do ha la, ta zhuo la. Si, xie xie, zhu li hao yun. You have saved not just me, Mr. Jensen, but all the girls here from a fate worse than death. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you 
for everything you've done. Ever since Ning went missing, May has been on the warpath. Jensen, you got any news yet? You know I hate being left in the dark. Yeah, I found Van Bruggen. Looks like the Tai Young Medical Corporation hired him and the Mercs to destabilize us. TYM? They already have the lion's share of the global augmentation market. Why use Van Bruggen? In order to get that share. Hopefully I'll be able to prove it once I get this smart card back to Van Bruggen. You need backup, let me know. Augmentation thing. Something it's the end of us all. Others think it's going to lead us to paradise. In Kabbalah, they say that humanity is supposed to correct itself, and I so believe that's true. You have to have faith that people's sort of unified conscience knows. You have saved not just me, Mr. Jensen, but all the girls here from a fate worse than death. First time here, American. Best girls in the city. Very high class place. You don't have to worry about catching anything. The girls here are clean. And if you have the money, they'll do just about anything you want. You don't have to worry about catching anything. Yeah, yeah. 
serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron seeding. You need practice software? Neuropodine? Something else? Look at computer. You're very welcome, sir. It's related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pentium project? That psychosphere is in serious trouble, Eliza. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal management. You actually came back. My faith in human nature is restored. Save it. Here's the smart card and my passport. Now start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bio-encoded just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangle. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, 
about my reward. Try your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jason! They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. All right, fine. Take this and get out of here. Oh, thanks, man. I won't forget this. As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with you, Daryl, log on to www.pikesweb.com. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikes. Related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. You're referring to the Pinchea project, the cooperative global initiative that aims at healing our world. Earth Seeker's theory is in serious trouble at all.
Malik. Get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. You shouldn't be here, sir. Get moving. Ocean temperature through a combination of iron and geothermal energy. 